right, the light's starting to go, so let's get this picture show started. I want to say that first off, that I had a, a good Christmas this year. It was a good, solid Christmas, nice and relaxed, no, nothing too crazy happened, a nice, calm Christmas, which after you know, after the year 2017 was like, you know, you need a nice calm at Christmas. And I'm glad I got that. We had a lovely dinner, shrimp dinner, courtesy of uh, my sister. So it was, trust me, you had to be there. It was a great dinner. Now we're in 2018. More or less, I've given up <laughs> on the past. Honestly, it's probably more like they're just going to lump 2016, 2017, 2018, doing the, just this block of time. There wasn't a lot of distinction from one year to the next. And it was just, uh, just a lot of things happened, a lot of terrible things. Some good things, but the terrible ones are extra terrible. Regardless of all that, we're going to just skirt past any and all controversy that may have happened within only the first couple of weeks of 2018. And let's get right into this semester, which I believe, if everything goes to plan, will be my last semester here at the State College of Florida. I'll be wrapping up my community college experience and graduating at the end of the semester and moving on to a proper four-year university, which is, that's exciting. That's that's going to be the main question for me to actually, you know, get out of bed and get up, get up, no, no, bright and early and crack on and get the work done. Now, speaking of the work, I got three classes this semester, just trying to round out everything and get all those prerequisites out of the way. We've got technical communications, which is an online class. It's also an eight-week class, so that's great. So, we'll, so it'll be over and done with real quick. It's this sort of class where you sort of, um, to describe it, how you describe it. It's, it's very, like, the very business writing, I would say. It's like, sort of business, like, like this is one of, like, formal, businessy sort of writing, you know, inner office sort of memos and things like that, you know, sort of like formalized, like elaborate definitions and reports and a language and writing technique you would use in a more professional space versus, say, a, a creative space. I think this will help, especially my writing. Like, my writing isn't great. Uh, if any of you ever read anything I've ever written, some of you have, especially my sister, it's not good at, at all. It's really tedious and circular. I like it just sort of says the same thing over and over and over again and maybe open this technical stuff will help clean up, finally get rid of those bad habits I've been holding on to in my writing since like the freshman year of high school. The next class is the one I really want to talk about because the professor is just a little off. Um, I'm not sure how to put it exactly, but he's just a bit off, you know, like he opens the, the, the class, which is statistics, by the way, about, you know, the history of statistics, and he just says that the first person to do statistics was Moses from the Bible. I'm like, all right, we're just going to roll with it. And then he goes on and says that the, the people were scared to do statistics for thousands of years because they did it in the Bible, tried to do statistics in Bible times, and then a bunch of people died, so they just stopped doing statistics things, and so that's why nobody was doing any statistics until very recently. And I'm like, can I get a citation needed on that? No, I didn't, I didn't say anything out loud because it's, it's, it's bad form, in my opinion, to challenge the professor on the very first day. And we were just trying to sort of get the vibe of the room and the professor himself. But still, I, I would love a fact check on that. If I need, like, explicit, you know, verse by verse reference, if this is true, or if it's not true, where would he have gotten this idea that people were scared to do statistics because of the Bible? Like, I know, like, ye olde times, the Bible and science didn't quite get along, at least from the sort of hierarchical sense, but that really had less to do with the religion side, more to do with the political power structure side of things. But so this just seems like a weirdly specific thing to focus on, like not in a general like sense, but just nobody's doing statistics because they were scared that they were all going to die in a plague or something. That's, it's like, I mean, you know, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. I, I would love some solid citations on that one. I'm not sure even where to look in the Bible, because you just sort of said in a general sense. So I don't exactly feel like going through the entire Old Testament just to fact check one weird comment a statistics teacher made. But if uh, you want to do that, go for it. The last class is for I say what it is. I want to preface it that I chose it before the Hollywood controversies, but it's women in film. And now it feels like, you know, before it was just something I was like, oh, I just kind of want to learn about this. But now it's like, you know, this is a moral obligation. I need to do this. <laughs> this is personal now. In light of all the horrible things that have been going on in Hollywood, but let's just be fair and say that we all knew it was going on, but now, like, all the mud and the gunk that was that made up the Hollywood machine is finally getting put under the microscope. We're still in the middle of it, so I'm not going to say anything more to the subject, but I hope this 
that this leads to a better future. Oh, and that's all you can really hope in these sort of situations. And the interesting thing is that the, I've, I'm having, it's, it's a joint class, uh, so like two professors are teaching the class. So, uh, for my section, I'm taking it as a film class. And then the art, and then there's also being taught separately as like an, uh, an art class, or an art history, I believe, a separate one, which is interesting. It's, again, it's taught by the same professor. I just did my online art history two, and my art history one from the very first semester I had at SCF. And the film professor is the same professor from that film class I took in the first semester as well. So that's kind of interesting little parallel, sort of a thematic beginning and ending, you know, parallels all the way through. By complete accident, I would like to say, I sort of may have become president of the nerd club on campus. I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna say it was by accident because I was, it's, it's not really an election when I was the only candidate for presidency of the club. So I just sort of said, walked in, and I was like, I kind of want to do this. And they're like, okay, you got the job. Here's what you need to do. Uh, here's, here's exactly what I need to do. And I'm going to read this in to the YouTube video so I have an easy way to find it. I need to be a rule enforcer. Oh, by the way, this is from our uh, equivalent of the, uh, the Book of Secrets, you know, National Treasure 2 style. I need to be a rule enforcer. I need to post club events on our Facebook page and on The Hub, which is our weird college club website thing. It confuses me. It's also not a very well-optimized website because it takes forever to load. I need to tell our club advisor when I need currency and at what dates and when I need rooms to do events and whatnot. I need to get, if I want to put up any posters, I need to get them approved by a different person. And then I also need to make sure the club is in good standing with the administration, which, I'm not going to lie, we kind of haven't been in the best standing with administration and in the room we like to hold our meetings in. I've kind of, I'm not, I've kind of abused our privileges just a little bit, and it's going to be my job to sort of uh, get our reputation back in order and hopefully make administration like us again. And I also need to make sure, I need to keep an open dialogue with our advisor, and I also need to make sure that all the other club members, I, that I'm accessible to everyone in the club, and it's that I can be you know, reached at any time, though so please don't reach me at any time. I would like to, you know, that's, that's going to be my new responsibility. And that's going to be a fun recurring thing on here. What sort of wacky things happened in the nerd club this week? So who knows? We'll, we'll see on that. So continuing on, I want to work, make a little announcement here. I plan on working on some, I'm working on a, like a, like a con I'm conceptualizing some more, uh, some properly like written, edit, like scripted videos, sort of thinking through a couple ideas right now. I'm just sort of thinking about how I want to do more proper, um, professional style stuff on this YouTube channel. I'm saying that here, even though I really don't have anything yet, just to make sure that, so that you keep, like sort of keep me honest and make try to actually keep working on that every week, sort of trying out different ideas ideas at least in my head making sure I'm at least continuously working on it so I can have, so I can at least determine if at all I want to do this or if I should just abandon uh, any hopes of making anything professional or serious and just sort of stick with improv here. Okay I guess but kind of I do want to branch out and branch out like I have any idea what I'm doing or that this is anything serious. I just want to you know try stuff with a script. No I can't remember I can't remember dialogue to save my life. But uh, there's not that hasn't stopped me before. Anything else? Anything else? I did fight a plant on Saturday. That was fun. It's this awful thorny vine sort of deal. And the, the real struggle is the plant that it was sort of wrapping itself around and getting all tangled up in also has thorns. I'm not, so I'm not only fighting this weed, I'm also fighting the plant I'm trying to save here. So it's like, so I got all cut up and on uh, my arms and my hands a bit. Probably should have worn gloves, but we don't really have a good pair of gloves. So I just eh, work through the pain and the stabbings. This vine thing is super weird. It's like most like weeds have a, don't really have a, a deep root system. It's the sort of vine types that sort of go up to strangle. But this one, its roots, it's just some sort of like a potatoy thing. It's like, um, just this heavy, thick root thing. And so I had to wrestle and try to dig that out because this thing had like entangled itself not only on the like the trees the branches of the bush but also it's the this potato thing has bedded itself in the roots of the so it was really not fun trying to and they couldn't get a good angle on it with a shovel or so it was just a mess to try to get it out and i was only able to get out a bit of it so that'll be a recurring problem. The other big issue trying to keep me from being, you know, just to make it a little harder is that there's this massive, and I mean massive, uh, ant hill. I'm trying to find something to show you the scale of it. I'm going to say it's about three feet long and about 
two feet wide, so a pile of dirt that was just a big old ant pile. So I'm trying to you know, carefully remove this weed that's stabbing me and the bush is stabbing me while also trying to set off this freaking anthill pile. Because, you know, that's, not, that's, that's what I need on top of all that. I'm getting stabbed, I'm getting dirts go flying everywhere, and the next thing you know, I'm trying not to get fire ants all over me as well. So, But fortunately, persevered, and I was able to conquer a freaking weed. And other than that, just sort of trying to, uh, trying to be a little more optimistic, you know. Especially with all the controversy that's managed to happen in the brief couple of weeks since the 2018 has happened. So, I'm trying to be a little more trying to have a more positive outlook on things, trying to uh, sort of be a better person in general. Get the weight loss back on track, because, you know, you know, put on a little weight over the holidays. So just sort of a little self-improvement here. That's going to be the, the goal for this on a personal level for now. And uh, I think that's everything. So just wrap this up. Thank you for stopping by. Have a nice day.